lenses. A lens is a shaped piece of transparent glass, often have a spherical surface, or plastic that refracts light. Many optical instruments, such as cameras, spectacles, microscopes, and telescopes, use glass lens to form an image. There are two types. Converging lens, diverging lens. A converging lens is a thicket feather in the center and bends light inwards. You may have used one as a magnifying glass. A diverging lens is thinnest in the center and spreads light out. The rules of a refraction apply to both types of lens. When light enters the lens, it bends towards the normal. When light leaves the lens, it bends away from the normal. A converging lens bends light inwards. A diverging lens spreads light out. The center of a lens is its optical center, C. The line through C at right angles to the lens is the principal axis. As a result of a refraction, parallel rays of light entering a convex lens converge and meet at a point. This point is the principal focus of the lens. When a beam of light parallel to the principal axis passes through a converging lens, it's refracted so as to converge to a point on the axis called the principal focus, F. It's a real focus. A diverging lens has a virtual principal focus behind the lens. The distance between C and F is the focal length of the lens. Ray diagrams. Information about the images formed by a lens can be obtained by drawing two of the following rays. These rays are chosen because we can predict their path through the lens. In ray diagrams, a converging lens is represented as a vertical line with outward facing arrows to indicate the shape of the lens. In ray diagrams, a diverging lens is represented as a vertical line with inward facing arrows to indicate the shape of the lens. Ray 1. A ray parallel to the principal axis on the left passes through the focus on the right. Pay attention. Ray 2. A ray which passes through the center of the lens does not change direction. Look at the diagram. Ray 3. A ray which passes through the focus of the lens on the left hand side emerges from the lens parallel to the principal axis on the right hand side. Pay attention. The place where these three rays meet on the right-hand side of the lens locates the top of the image. The bottom of the image lies on the principal axis.
draw a ray diagram and get the image of the object in each case. The type of image by a lens depends on how far away the object is. The first picture above shows how to draw a ray diagram for an object that is located beyond the 2F point. Draw a ray parallel to the principal axis spacing through the focus on the right. Now, draw a ray which paces through the center of the lens. This ray does not change direction. The place where these two rays meet on the right-hand side of the lens locates the top of the image. A real image is formed when light rays converge to a point. A real image can be projected onto a screen or a piece of paper. This image is inverted because it's upside down compared to the object. This image is smaller than the object. Next diagram shows an object at 2F. Let's do the same thing we did in the previous diagram. Take two rays of light, one ray is parallel to the principal axis, and the other which passes through the center of the lens. Pay attention. This image is inverted and same size as object. Next diagram shows an object between F and 2F. Let's do the same thing we did in the previous diagram. Take two rays of light, one ray is parallel to the principal axis and the other which passes through the center of the lens. This image is inverted and larger than the object. In this diagram, the object is placed between the lens and one focus. The rays of light pa that pass through the lens don't meet. When these rays are viewed by the eye, they appear to come from behind the lens. This image is only seen by the person looking through the lens. This image is behind the object. This image is virtual, upright, the right way up, and larger than the object. Now it is your turn.